Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Moore. This is John from Lakeshore V Center on your new Cyclone 3714. We're gonna walk you around today and show you a couple of the basics on how to operate this Cyclone fifth wheel. One of the first things you wanna do when you get to the campsite, is you wanna make sure you turn on this battery switch right here. That gives you 12 volt power to things like your landing gear and anything else that requires 12 volt. This is your inverter here. Um, it's important to note that your inverter does have a switch on the inside of the camper that does have to be operated and turned on for that to function properly. When we go over to the keypad over here on the side to activate the keypad, we simply push both arrows down. The green, notice the green LED light that comes on. That lets us know we've got power to the keypad and then we can push these buttons up and down to control the jacks. We've got a propane tank on either side of this camper and those are located in this little compartment right here. There's an auto changeover valve on the other side, which has a green and red indicator. Righty tighty shuts off the tank, lefty loosey opens up the tank. Our docking center is located here on this side. I'm gonna go through that here in a second and show you how that works. Our hot water heater, our furnace exhaust is right there and our, our uh, dump valves are located right there. Those dump valves are control, they control the um, waste and gray tanks on the camper. Okay, this is our docking center on this side. Notice the positioning of the various valves. When they're all in this horizontal position, it basically indicates the camper has been winterized. We do have motion sensor lights that you just notice were automatically activated. Down here is our city water connection. We'll hook our fresh water hose up to. This is our sewage tank flush. We want to rinse out our tank. And a hot and cold shower is located at the top here. You do get a sprayer hose that comes with it. To turn on these lights, simply depress the button in the center. Notice this one has a TV package that comes with some additional TVs. Once again, keep the little ones away from the furnace exhaust. It does have a tendency to get hot, so you want to, want to just make sure you keep them away from there. You do have low points located underneath here. Those are that silver nozzle. nozzle. When it's vertical up, straight and down, that means it's draining the tank. When you turn it crosswise, it'll shut it off. Your discharge for your septic is located right there. You've got um, right here, you've got uh, your tires, you wanna make sure after the first 250 miles, you do check the lug nuts on the tires. And of course you do have an additional sewage tank rinse for the back bathroom, as well as these are the additional valves for the back of that. You just pull those. You have a discharge nozzle for your fueling station. Simply turn this button on to operate that. That's located behind here, behind this door. And uh, just no different than just running a, a fuel nozzle at the gas station. So does come with a 25 foot 50 amp power cord at your ladder. You wanna make sure you pull the pins if you wanna swing your ladder forward to operate your ladder. To unlock these doors, real simple operation. Pull these, swing and rotate. If the cables are attached, it'll fall into a horizontal position, which then will allow it to be a patio. Your steps for your rear patio are located right underneath there in that locked compartment. Again, as we're going by, and just running by the side of the camper. We're gonna shoot some video so you can see your camper. Your outside stove. This is your exterior TV. That just pulls out on the slide tray. This is that selector valve for your auto changeover for your propane tank. When that's green, that's indicated that propane is on. Red indicates that it's currently shut off steps let's walk inside this camper we got our fuse and breaker box which are located right down here to get into those all we simply have to do is push this that will re that will release the panel that allows us to get into our 110 breakers which are labeled our fuses are above in command system for this camper to operate that we simply push that button, that turns it on, and then we can scroll through the desired function and turn those on or off or slide those out. These are our slide out control buttons for our various slides, overhead lighting right there. This is your power switch for the inverter. Definitely have to make sure that is on if you want those 110 outlets to operate. Your in command system or control center for your multiple air conditioners, and that just lets us know our batteries are being charged. I'm gonna show you how to operate some of the basic components of this camper, like the refrigerator, real simple. All we do here is hit the power button. That turns it on. The drop means it's operating currently off gas. If we wanna force the most convenient power source, we push it again. When it's plugged in, we're gonna to go to electricity. When 
were not plugged in, it would automatically force itself to go over to the gas. If we push this temperature setting, we can adjust that up. Generally, we like to start that somewhere around eight to kind of keep in mind. Once we're plugged into 110, which we are, one of the nice things is, uh, and we got propane in the system. Notice the spark igniter. We simply rotate those dials. That'll spark ignite for us. Overhead lights, some mood lighting for the camper. Your keys will typically be located around your kitchen faucet. When you come to pick up your camper, remotes and things of that nature will be in your silverware drawer in your kitchen. Your fireplace, wonderful little feature that shows that operating. Button to the far right turns the power on and off for that. You can select the color of the flames if you want, the heat controls, stereo system. Once again, your remote for your TV will be located in the kitchen drawer. Let's walk in back here. Power beds back here. You'll notice in these corners, there are four little pins. Those little pins are used to keep the top bunk up. It is controlled from this power switch here, which puts the beds up and down. Then you've got light switches there. Once again, additional lights, and additional TV back here. Your ladder for the bunks. Your starter kit that comes with the camper with your 50 amp power cord and your spray nozzle hose. You do have three seasons doors on here. Very, very important with these doors, you guys. You wanna make sure that those top panels are always slid down when you go to clear or close that rear tailgate. If you don't do that, you can pop out the panels. So just an important little note there. Let's walk you around to the camper. I'm gonna walk you up front here, show you a couple things. Slide outs are currently in for up here. And they are again controlled from that central command uh, area. Um, that's not gonna allow us in until we slide out those slide outs. We're gonna sneak through the bathroom here so we can kind of show you what that looks like with everything slid in. Now that's what our bedroom looks like with everything slid in. Now, notice the switch over in that far corner. That switch has to have this bed angled in an up position for that slide out to operate. If that is down, notice it will hit this side. So very, very important. Make sure that bed is angled up before you, you slide it back in and then you should be good to go. These outlets do have ground fault breakers on the outlets, you guys, very important. If all of a sudden your 110 outlets are not working, check your ground fault. Oftentimes, it's just one of the, the outlets has tripped and it just has to be reset. So, you guys, again, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. That's some of the basics on your new Cyclone fifth wheel toy hauler. If you do have additional questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. You can reach me on my cell phone at 231 740 Two two five. Thank you and have a great day.